What good is a nation if you don't know its history? Well, the more and more I got into it, the more I became aware that, um, uh, you know, just those, those issues that many of us white people would think about is like, who am I to be writing this? Who am I to be saying this? We were able to bring in uh, cross-cultural collaboration through this project. So I've been very passionate about making sure that we create spaces as artists that allow for non-First Nations and First Nations people to come together and share these stories. I'm of the belief that if you live here in Australia, you identify as Australian, we all have the responsibility to talk about Australian history. And we all know that white Australia has a black history. And so not only the actors in the show being First Nations and non-First Nations, you know, our set designers, our costume designers, we're all brought in to this collaborative process, which helps strengthen the message of the show. It's great to work with a playwright who is non-Indigenous. So for me, having the reconciliation of working with non-Indigenous people and being an Indigenous person, I see unity and we've been given a platform to share our stories. We've loved this coming together and with the Uluru Statement and the importance of that. And that's really the essence of the whole piece is to continue to work together and have not only uh, First Nations truth telling, you know, if this happened to me and it was really dreadful, but we need to do truth telling, you know, it needs to be exposed what, um, what happened in history. So it's general truth telling really. Probably the most common response that I received was one of shock that people don't realise the, the legislation and what Prime Ministers were saying about First Nations people. People have no idea of our history or this side of our history. Um, so again, to be able to convey that for people to listen to and then have the opportunity to, to discuss it uh, was incredibly powerful and yeah, quite confronting for an audience member. People tend not to believe it. I enjoy the confrontation of this performance. Peers that I've known that have seen it are obviously of my age group or older, where the education system we went through didn't have these details. I think it's really important that those people hear this story. All the material was on the record you know, like it's in Hansard, it's, um, it's in the books, it's in, uh, you know, Keating's speech, you can Google it and, and there it is, him standing in Redfern saying the speech. And some people call it verbatim theatre, but actually it's not quite because sometimes I had to praise things. But both on the First Nations side and the Prime Minister's side, um, there are lots of quotes direct quotes. This is what Prime Ministers felt and believed and, and spoke and taught. And so it's important for Australians to understand this is not made up. We're not, we're not trying to shine a, a light on, on the negative sides of history for no reason. Like this is really, really important. I wasn't biased in looking at the story. I haven't deliberately written the story from First Nations perspective. When you actually look at what's happened, it's not rocking the boat, it's just discovering things and trying to understand it and therefore knowing the context in which to move the next step forwards.